Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Xanderseeker92. Thanks for the suggestion, Xander. You asked, how do foghorns work? If you've ever heard one of those deep, booming sounds while standing near the ocean, you probably wondered, what giant sea monster is sneezing? But don't worry, that's just a foghorn doing its job. So, grab your metaphorical sailor hat and stay tuned as we uncover how these thunderous ocean trumpets actually work, right here on Explaining Everything. Let's start with the issue. Visibility disappears when fog rolls in. A ship can see nothing beyond maybe a few feet. Light from lighthouses gets scattered by tiny water droplets, which means a captain could be less than half a football field away from a cliff and not even know it. Historically, sailors tried bells, gongs, and cannons to alert other ships in fog. Some ports even fired fog guns at regular intervals. It kind of worked, assuming everyone could still hear over the wind, waves, and sheer terror of sailing blind. But these methods were unreliable, expensive, and, in the case of cannons, likely to make everyone think the coastline was under attack. The breakthrough came when someone realized that sound specifically low-frequency sound, travels better through fog than light does. The physics here is simple but cool. Fog scatters light easily, but long sound waves can bend around obstacles and pass through mist almost unbothered. So if you can't see the shore, maybe you can hear it. And thus, the idea of the foghorn was born. Before the modern foghorn, lighthouse keepers relied on manual sound signals. They'd ring large bells for hours, or if they had extra stamina and patience, bang on gongs. Imagine standing on a freezing cliff, ringing a giant metal bell into the mist, hoping someone out there hears you. Romantic? Maybe. Miserable? Definitely. In the 18th and 19th centuries, some stations even used cannons or explosive rockets as fog signals. It was spectacular, sure, but not exactly efficient. You had to keep reloading the gunpowder, and the echoes bouncing off cliffs made it hard to tell where the shot even came from. Then, in the mid-1800s, inventors started experimenting with mechanical horns. American inventor Celadon de Bol developed a compressed air trumpet for the U.S. Lighthouse Service, and in Canada, engineer Robert Fowlis came up with a steam-powered horn after noticing that low piano notes traveled farther in fog. These inventions marked the transition from chaotic, improvised noise to something deliberate and really loud. By the late 1800s, fog signals had evolved into serious machines. Instead of ringing bells or firing cannons, lighthouse keepers operated steam or air-powered horns capable of sending massive, low-frequency blasts miles out to sea. It wasn't just noise anymore. It was navigation. So, how does a foghorn actually work? The classic foghorn uses compressed air or steam in older versions to create a deep, resonant tone. Inside is a mechanism, often a diaphragm or a piston, that vibrates when pressurized air passes through it. Those vibrations create sound waves, and when directed through a long, trumpet-shaped horn, the sound becomes both amplified and focused out to sea. The star of the show is the diaphone, 
a type of horn introduced in the early 1900s. It uses a slotted piston inside a cylinder. As compressed air enters, the piston oscillates rapidly, opening and closing the slots, creating a throbbing two-tone that everyone associates with fog horns. It's like a tuba and a jet engine had a baby. The magic lies in the low frequency of that sound. Low notes can travel for miles, sometimes up to 10 miles under the right conditions. They can bend around cliffs, over waves, and through fog without fading quickly. That's why fog horns sound so deep and chest rattling. It's not just for effect, it's pure physics. And because multiple lighthouses might be heard from the same area, each foghorn had its own distinct pattern, called its character. Some would do one long blast every 30 seconds, others two short blasts. Sailors used charts to match these sound signatures to locations, so if you heard you could tell exactly which stretch of coast was nearby and, more importantly, where not to crash. By the 20th century, foghorns became smarter and easier to run. The bulky steam and diesel engines were replaced with electric motors and later with fully automated systems. No more freezing lighthouse keepers yanking levers all night. Sensors now detect when visibility drops and trigger the horn automatically. The mighty diaphone stayed popular through the mid-1900s for its power and unmistakable sound. But radar and GPS eventually made foghorns less essential. Many have since been retired or replaced with digital speakers that mimic the original blasts. Still, a few survive for nostalgia, their deep sounds echoing like the sea's way of saying, I'm still here. Shorter, quieter times, maybe. But the foghorn's voice never really faded. So, how do foghorns work? In short, air, vibration, and a whole lot of volume. They transformed a deadly problem, invisible coastlines, into a solvable one by giving the ocean a literal voice. So next time you hear that deep, echoing horns, don't think of it as just background noise. That's history talking. A thunderous reminder of how far we've come since the days of sailing blind into the fog. If you enjoyed this deep sounding dive into those mysterious voice of the ocean, don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't worry, there's no kraken jumping out of the ocean anytime soon. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.